so in this video i am going to discuss about the binary operators note in the category of operators there are three types of operators unary binary and ternary now i am going to discuss about binary operators and in the next video i will discuss ternary operators unary operators i will discuss after the ternary operators so come on let's begin with this binary operators examples this is important because you have studied the simple calculator program in the previous video so to get a more better understandability of what we used in that program how the concepts were actually delivering we need to hear about binary operators also so come on let's begin it now let us see operators in the category of operators we discussed about three types of operators unary operator binary operator and ternary operator unary work on one operand binary work on two operands and ternary work on three operands so in this video i am going to concentrate on binary operands uh, ternary and unary we will see later they are more important for as of now so we are studying about binary operators now so within the binary operators there are itself five types of binary operators arithmetic operators arithmetic operators are used on mathematical calculation like plus minus divide multiply calculating the remainder and so on logical operators carry out some logical operation i will tell you what kind of logical operation do they carry out relational operator depict the relations assignment operator just assigns the value and arithmetic assignment operator the mixture of arithmetic operator and assignment operator so as of now note these five names now one by one we will discuss what are they now let's discuss the arithmetic operators the first type of binary operators arithmetic operators are basically to carry out some arithmetic operations or mathematical operations like this plus is used for addition minus for difference and star for product this this symbol is not called actually star it is called asterisk symbol a s t e r i s k note that this s is silent so asterisk symbol this is the operator to calculate the quotient after the division and this percentage sign is called modulo m o d u l o u s it is written as modulus but it is pronounced as modulo so it calculates the remainder this one calculates quotient and this one calculates the remainder so we can write this as a plus b a minus b a into b and this can be written as a by b and this can be written as a modulo b so we have already seen an example of these kind of operators that was the simple calculator program using c in our previous video where we did nothing but used these operators within a and b and stored their result in the different variables like sum difference product div and rem so to have a good look on these operator you pl please see that program the link is given in the above right corner you can navigate to that link using that so these are all arithmetic operators uh, for the arithmetic operators it is compulsory that we need two operands so therefore they are in the category of binary operators there are some arithmetic operations that are carried out even on single operand we will see those operators in the example of unary operators till now we are considering binary operators so here binary operands math that means two operands example have to be considered that was a simple calculator program so i hope so this is clear to you now see these logical operators there are two types of logical operators and logical and and logical or so logical and is represented using two and symbols consecutively and logical or is represented using a pipe symbol now how to insert this pipe symbol on the keyboard there must be a shift key using that shift key we don't have to use actually the shift key on the above right corner of the shift key there must be a key with a symbol like this a broken line from the middle so if you insert that key two times it will become like logical or operator that is the pipe symbol only so actually the line is broken from between this is logical or so where these logical operators are used that you will tell you in the later videos uh but for the time being let me tell you that these kind of operators can be used in conditions or loops involving conditions either in conditions or loops involving conditions now what are these two terms that will be clear to you with the due course of time till now you please note down these operators in your notebook 
okay we will see later on these logical operators but for the time being let me tell you how they work uh, suppose consider that uh, there is a machine and you know that machine works either on 0 or on 1 it knows the binary language only so 0 is has the other name of false we can represent a 0 value as false value and 1 has the other name of true we can represent 1 as true so machine works on either false or true either 0 or 1 so how they work is if I write 0 and 0 that means false and false 0 and 1 that means false and true 1 and 0 that means true and false and 1 and 1 that means true and true so we have to calculate what is the answer now this logical hand has the property that if both the values are true it will return true value if even the one value is false then it will return false so here both the values are false that means it will result a false value here one is false therefore it will result a false value here also this is false so it will result a false value here both the values are true so it will return a true value this is how the logical and operator works when both are false or even if one is false the result will be a false value if both of them are true then the result will be a true value so keep this in mind so now let's just see the same thing with logical or uh, suppose there is 0 or 1 1 or 0 0 or 0 and 1 or 1 these are values this is or symbol in between in every statement now we have to calculate the answers so unlike logical and where both the values must be true to get a true value logical or works like this even if one value is true here it is true here it is true and here both of them are true when either both of them are true or even if one value is true then you will get a true answer that means 0 or 1 will result true 1 or 0 will result 1 0 or 0 here both of them are false then only there will be a false value and 1 1 or 1 both of them are true so true value so this is the difference between logical and and logical or in logical and both of them must have to be true and in logical or if either if one of them is true the result will be a true answer so note this also and compare the outputs of logical and and logical or you will get the thing now let's see the third category of binary operator that are the relational operators as you know the term relational means that it will depict some relationship less than greater than less than equal to greater than equal to equal to equal to and not equal to now there are some concepts that you have to keep in mind while writing the programs even in rough when you are writing the layout of a program that how to type the program in your PC you write before in rough so while writing in rough also you must have a practice to write less than equal to like this please don't write it like this why because if you write it like this there is no way to type such a code on keyboard you cannot insert less than and this dash symbol before it so you have to write less than and equal to separately similar for this and one more thing for equal to don't write single equal to it is wrong single equal to is not used you have to use double equal to sign to check the equality and similarly for not equal to you don't have to write it like this you can write like this why because there is no way to represent not equal to like this on keyboard we have to use a not sign and then an equal to operator now this not sign that we left in the logical operators actually there are three types of logical operators and or and this logical not this is called logical not what this logical not does is if I write not of 0 then it will reverse it it will make it 1 if I write not of 1 it will make it 0 that means not false is equals to true and not true is equals to false this is how logical not works so for the time being you please note these relational operators and please keep these points in mind for equal equality we have to use 2 equal to not equal to is represented like this and we have to write less than great equal to and greater than equal to like this only now let me tell you how these relational operators work to see the working of relational operators consider one example if I have declared int a and b two integers are declared then in the memory 
a memory will be allocated for a and a memory will be allocated for b and i have assigned a with 10 value left to right a will be 10 and b with 5 value similarly left to right b will be 5 so a is 10 b is 5 now if i write a expression a less than b now a is having 10 value and b is having 5 value and i have written a is less than b then if you run this statement in your c program while typing it in your pc then it will return 0 why 0 because this statement is false simply because a is having 10 value b is having 5 value 10 is not less than 5 so it will return simply 0 because computer has a way of representation in the terms of 0 and 1 only. So it will return 0 and you may understand this 0 as false. That means computer is trying to say that the statement is false. And similarly, if I combine some statements, if I write a less than b and a equal to equal to b in place of equal to equal to write a not equal to b then this is the statement then for this part our computer is going to return 0 because a is greater than b and for this part it is really going to return 1 why because a is not equal to b for equal to b it must be 10 or it must be 5 so both of them are not equal so this one is true and this one is false so overall answer will be 0 and 1 that means 0 because and has the property whenever both the values are true then only it will return a true value so here 1 is false therefore it is returning a false value so this is the concept how relational and logical operators can be mixed within an expression so actually these kind of conditional statements we will be going to write using relational and logical operators so we will see these kind of statements later on many of them we will see for the time being let's consider one more example in this example only if I write in place of AND OR then what will happen A less than B will return 0 value A not equal to B will return 1 value now overall answer will be 0 or 1 that will be 1 because OR operator has the value that if even, a, even one value is true it will return true overall result will be true so here this is false but this is 1 because of this 1 we have got a true value this is how AND and logical and and logical or operators can be used within relational expressions also so uh, i will make you practice more examples like this in later programs and i hope so this is clear to you let me tell you one more thing uh, if i want if i write expression a equal to equal to 10 and b equal to equal to 5 then this equal to equal to will check equal to equal to is checking it is checking whether 10 is stored in a yes 10 is stored in a that means this will be one true and whether 5 is stored in b yes it is checking and it is returning false or true so this is also true 5 is written in b so both the conditions are true and in between there is and so true and true will result in true this is the property of and so this is how equality operator works not equal to I have shown you and less than greater than you know so these were the examples uh, I hope you have noted down it and now let's move on to assignment operators so let's discuss about fourth and fifth category that is the assignment operators and arithmetic assignment operators these both are binary operators so assignment operator I hope you all know that how it works and what it is so if I have written int a then a memory of type integer will be created whose identifier is a then a is equals to 10 will assign right to left 10 to a as equality operators works from right side right hand side to left hand side so what is exactly happening is 10 is going to the memory location a so this is all about assignment operator uh, and one more thing we always represent assignment operator by single equal to sign and equality operator by double equal to assignment operator will assign right to left the value but equality operator will check if the value is equal to something or not that exactly what we did in our last example of relational operators you can refer to relational operators rewind the video so if you have any doubt it will be cleared off and arithmetic assignment operators 
suppose you have written a statement like this a is equals to a plus 10 then it is the rule that we have to evaluate the RHS and then using the assignment operator assign the RHS right hand side to left hand side because assignment operators works from right to left this is right hand side this is left hand side so here a is 10 10 plus 10 10 plus 10 is evaluated to be 20 now LHS RHS is complete right hand side is complete now this assignment operators will assign 20 to this a because assignment operators works from right to left that means now in the memory of a this will be 20 this is how this statement is working now this I know that you might be knowing that how it will work but arithmetic assignment operators are somewhat different how they are different using arithmetic assignment operators I can actually reduce the length of the statement how can I reduce the length of the statement uh, suppose this is the statement then I can write the statement like this a plus equal to 10 this is also called as the shorthand form shorthand form this is very important topic for C programming shorthand form so what I have actually did is I have moved this plus sign here before equal to and removed this a so the length of the statement is reduced now what will actually happen this statement is equivalent to this expression if you write a plus equal to 10 it means a is equals to a plus 10 you can expand it like this so these are shorthand notations and using this shorthand notation see this plus and equal to are together similarly a minus equal to 10 can also come when a is equals to a minus 10 similarly a multiply equal to 10 also come when a is equals to a into 10 similarly a divided by equal to 10 can also come when a is equals to a by 10 and similarly a modulo equal to 10 can also come when a is equals to a modulo 10 so these are some operators that we are getting between these two operands this one is operand this one is operand there are two operands and in the binary operators there are two operands so these all operators that are arithmetic operators we saw first category of binary operators arithmetic operators with assignment operators so when arithmetic and assignment operators come together they form arithmetic assignment operators so you have to note this point that arithmetic assignment operators can also can only come in shorthand forms only they cannot come everywhere but they can only come while using shorthand forms only these are the shorthand forms and you can simply expand this this will be equivalent to a is equals to a minus 10 a is equals to a into 10 a is equals to a by 10 and a is equals to a percentage 10 so this is how we can form another category that is arithmetic assignment so i hope so all the concepts about binary operators that i have discussed in this video are now clear to you and you have not having any doubts now if you still have doubts you can rewind the video and watch it again else if you still remain with some doubts in your mind you can pin me on the email address that is mentioned in the description of the video and if you like my video and my explanation please hit the like button please share it with your friends and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button also thank you